we did it this channel has been monetized and that is all thanks to you Hi people, I'm going to introduce myself quickly and jump right into the video. My name is Mutombo, I'm a Cameroonian vlogger and I've been posting videos on YouTube for about one and a half years now. This channel, Mutombo Daily, reached the threshold for monetization on the 10th of June 2020. And that just means that we were able to surpass 1,000 subscribers and accumulate 4,000 watch hours within one year. In this video, I just want to share my journey from 0 to 1,000 subscribers and from 0 to 4,000 watch hours. And I hope this video serves to encourage anybody who is on the journey to monetization. Obviously, getting to monetization is not the end of, you know, your YouTube career. You've not arrived anywhere. We still have a lot of work to do, but we just have to learn to stop and celebrate the milestones, which is what I'm trying to do right now. Let's talk a bit about my time frame. I posted the first video on this channel on the 10th of January 2019 and from that day to 10th of June 2019 which is the day this channel was eligible for monetization I have posted about 50 videos and those videos have managed to accumulate about 53,000 views I have learned a lot from the videos that actually did very well on this channel and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today I think it's also worth mentioning that I crossed the 1,000 subscribers threshold way before I crossed the 4,000 watch hours threshold first things first if you decide to become a youtuber you have to own it with your chest you have to be ready to talk about your youtube channel on whatsapp instagram twitter snapchat whichever platform you already have you just have to use that to put yourself out there ask your friends to help promote you ask your family members to help promote you because that is how you get the initial 100 subscribers it's definitely not going to be from people who don't know you okay no maybe it can be when you put up a new video, you should definitely remind people that you've published a new video and that they should go and watch. I'm not saying you should spam people's inbox with links to your videos. That is actually very annoying and can easily put people off. But I'm saying on the platform you already have, say your WhatsApp status, you should definitely leave the link to your latest video there. All right, now that we have harassed every single person that we know and pushed them to our YouTube channel, let's talk about the videos that are actually on that channel. I'm going to address the videos from two angles, okay? The first angle is you've managed to drive people to your channel. How do you keep them there? Case in point, let's look at the most viewed video on this channel, which is actually my least favorite video on this channel. And today it has 7,748 views but when you get into the analytics of this particular video you will see that the video is about 12 minutes long but the majority of people were only able to sit through the first three minutes of it because the video is actually very difficult to watch especially if you're going there looking for information and the video is actually branded as an informative video and that just brings me to my point you have to sit down and watch your videos from the point of view of a total stranger you can come on your video and you're making inside jokes that only you and your sister know about if you cannot see through your own video then don't expect people who don't even know you to find it interesting you really just have to critically look at your own videos and honestly ask yourself if you would enjoy this video if it was another person who had posted this the second angle that i'm going to talk about with respect to your videos is you need a few evergreen videos yeah you need a few videos that will stay relevant over time what makes an evergreen video it needs to be searchable it needs to be useful please try to make it interesting evergreen videos comprise of things like tutorials how to's diys apartment haunting 
house tours you can also look within yourself and think of things that you may have wanted to know in the past or that you may have searched for and not really gotten the answers that you wanted i'm not going to bullshit you i can't tell you that i know the exact formula for an evergreen video but i know that the few evergreen videos that i have seen from others have these traits and in my case my evergreen video is actually the video that i hate so much six things about living in douala living in douala what to expect so i knew that this video was going to get lots of clicks but i just wish i had taken more time to research the topic and really bring people value the next thing that can facilitate your journey to monetization and this certainly helped me a lot is interacting with other people's content youtube is just as much of a social media platform as it is a search engine you can't just come here, post your videos, and then turn and leave. You have to interact with other people's content. And I mean genuinely interact with them. I'm not talking about going and watching a video for two minutes and then commenting about what you saw in the first two minutes. Watch people's videos, especially those who are in the same niche as you, or in the same geographical relocation as you. You will have more in common with those people than you would with all the big YouTube gurus. I'm not saying don't watch them watch them i personally watch them and i learn a lot from them but when it comes to having more meaningful interactions with other youtubers you have to find people in your sector please don't go and harass other youtubers or their audiences don't go and bombard them with oh i'm new follow me follow me you might actually get a few followers from that that's no guarantee that they're actually going to watch your videos but when you actually let yourself shine and show that you have something to offer through contributing in the comment section you stand out a lot more than if you just go to say oh i'm new i'm a new youtuber i'm a small youtuber follow me follow me i honestly think that's a waste of your time and energy and i think a better use of that energy would be to get a nice profile picture something that would actually prompt people to look and say hey who is this get a channel name that shows that you are a creator and not just a watcher so that when you comment people know that oh this is another youtuber for example with me I would much rather my channel name just be Mutombo but I just felt like having just plain Mutombo wouldn't show that I am also a creator and that is why I added daily and that was just to show that I create content about my daily life work on your YouTube banner people are drawn to aesthetics whether you like it or not you are drawn to aesthetics so make everything nice make it look nice have a picture that actually encourages someone to click on your channel and once they click the banner should just be there on your channel waiting for them just to tell them hey we are a cool club here and when they scroll down on your page your thumbnails also should be bold and you know clear i'm not saying fun it should be too fancy no you don't even need to you just need to have bold captions on your thumbnails that will just give somebody an immediate idea of what your channel is about. I've subscribed to many people from other people's um, comment section. And a few people have actually told me that they found my channel through comments that I left on other videos. So the next tip that I have for you on your journey to 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers is you have to work with the algorithm. Learn the algorithm. Seduce the algorithm. So work on your titles. Don't title your videos the way you see these big YouTubers titling their videos. They already have the audience. Some of us are always going to watch them irrespective of what their video title will be because they already have that loyal following. You and I who are just starting out cannot afford to title videos as if, as if people are guaranteed to watch. No. Let me give you a case study. There's this YouTuber that I follow. She is a beauty YouTuber and actually i think the first ever makeup video that i i watched in my life was from her channel and that is just how i started following her from like eight years ago or so her channel actually is almost at 500,000 subscribers but she decided to start another channel for vlogs her main channel the 500,000 channel is a beauty channel so a bunch of us about 10,000 of us followed her from that channel to the new channel which was supposed to be the vlog, vlog channel and she was posting very good vlogs to her greatest surprise the vlog channel was not doing well at all so when she posts i'm always going to watch because 
I like her as a person. But guess who does not know her as a person? The algorithm. The algorithm does not know her as a person. So she'll film a vlog and post and then take one little thing that she said in the vlog and then put that as a title. She'll film a whole interesting vlog, you know, buy stuff from the supermarket, show us, you know, interesting stuff, just nice day-to-day -day things that you like to see. And then she'll pick one minuscule thing that she said in the vlog and use that as a title. You'll see a video that has been uploaded. The title is, I didn't know. You didn't know what, mama? How are we supposed to know what that video is talking about if you don't even bother to put vlog in the title? I think she just forgot that this is not her big channel with the 500,000 subscribers. This is a small channel with 1,000 subscribers. And if you title a video like that, I didn't know. Only 500 people are going to watch because they don't know what exactly it is that this video is offering them. Even the algorithm will see that title. I didn't know. I don't know whether to push this video to people who watch vlogs or to people who watch beauty or to people who watch, you know, if you don't title your video properly, nobody can know where to place you, not even the algorithm. And that is just how this second channel just started dying down. She titled that video, I didn't know, and ignored all the other selling points of the video. The video was filmed in New York. NYC vlog. Pim, 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 views. Home goods haul. Pim, 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 views. All of these selling points were in that one video, but she just didn't bother with the title. And that's also how the algorithm did not bother with her. So long story short, work on your search engine optimization. Make your videos findable. I don't want to say searchable because you might actually make a video on a searchable topic. For example, how to get to 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours, but you don't title the video as such. One thing that you can do is to search the subject of your video and then look at the highest viewed video in that category see how they title their videos see the common words that they use and see how you can use that to your advantage tags <sighs> i see people who upload videos and instead of tagging what the video is about they're there tagging other big youtubers <laughs> the video has nothing whatsoever to do with, with this big youtuber but you are using the limited tag space that YouTube gives you to go and tag this big YouTuber and put their name there. Make sure you exhaust the space that YouTube has given you with things that are relevant to your video. I think you can even find other videos on how to tag your videos. I've already talked about the thumbnails. Make sure your thumbnails are catchy, bold, and legible. Write in your description box. I don't understand how people upload videos and don't write in the description box like if if it's not a music video i don't understand why the description box is empty please understand the things you write in the description box are not for us the viewers because we are not going to read it we don't have time to read it we have really taken time out of the day to watch the video the description box is for the algorithm all these things combined help the algorithm boost your videos to rank high when your topic has been searched for I'm editing right now and I can't believe that I forgot to mention that you need to upload regularly. The more content you put out, the better your chances of new people discovering you. And even when those new people discover your channel, there have to be videos for them to watch when they visit your channel. So produce the content, upload regularly and upload consistently. Consistently means you have specific days or specific times that you upload, but regularly means you upload often. I noticed a lot of growth when I started uploading consistently and regularly. So I was uploading consistently, which meant on Sundays and I uploaded regularly as in I uploaded every week. So yeah, be consistent and be regular. Next, let's talk about community and help. I think it's very important to find some sort of community that you can feel at home at and share ideas and you know just somehow share this journey that you're on so whether it is trying to link up with the youtubers who live in the same city as you or in the same country as you or who are in the same niche as you you know just find that community that you can fit into and with every community you obviously have to have your own personal boundaries so just find that community share with them as much as you are comfortable sharing secondly when it comes to other people helping you most of the time they help you without you even realizing that that's what they did for you and if you have worked on all the things that i already mentioned in this video up to this point then people will find it much easier to help you for example if somebody wants to recommend your channel to their audience they'll only feel comfortable doing that if they know that 
their audience will come to you and you actually give them the content that they promised their audience that you are going to give to them they shouldn't come to your channel and for one thing you're not even posting you post once every two months or they click on your video and they see that you did not even put any effort into that video whatsoever do not come back i definitely cannot make this point without recognizing the youtubers who have really helped and supported me in this journey the entire collection of cameronian youtubers have been super supportive and of course i was able to connect with a few youtubers from our sister land look at the way i'm smiling when i'm talking about them <laughs> A few youtubers from our sister land nigeria and they have been super 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 supportive of this channel they recommended my channel to their viewers and i actually have a lot of viewers and a lot of subscribers from recommendations from these youtubers so so it goes without saying that they have been very instrumental in my growth on youtube and remember the points that i made before i have a genuine interaction with these youtubers i love and enjoy their content i am always there when they upload and i think you will love their content too so i'll leave their links in the description box below and i promise this time i'm going to leave the links there in the description box below just check them out okay so there are other things that can help boost your channel such that you cross the monetization threshold but these are not things that i personally employed but i know that they work the first thing is to collaborate with other youtubers do you know collaborative videos either together in the same video or you do videos on a topic and tag each other and you know send traffic back and forth between those two videos on both channels actually there, there's a few collaborations that i was supposed to do last year but for some reason we just never got around to doing them but we are eventually going to do them apart from collaborations the other thing i want to mention is hopping on trends every once in a while there's always some exciting topic to do a video on and the last trend that i saw was the chloe ting challenge i remember another popular trend was what makeup artists in my city review <laughs> i know that that particular video boosted lots of channels so just keep your eyes open for these trends and see which one fits your channel and your content and hop on that all right that's all i have for you today concerning my tips to get into the monetization threshold here on youtube before i end out this video i just want to mention that before i reached the monetization threshold i wasn't able to create an adsense account i tried several times to create the account but for some reason the system wasn't letting me create the account very briefly your adsense account is basically just a way for youtube to pay you and track your earnings if adverts are placed on your content so once i was eligible for monetization i immediately created my adsense account the adsense account took about 12 hours to come to life so when they tell you wait a moment it might take a few hours they are not joking it's definitely going to take a few hours after the 12 hours the adsense account was linked to my youtube channel and my channel automatically went into review i was very surprised my review took less than 24 hours because i know that people who wait three days one week a few months you know what can i say god 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 really just saw me through this whole thing speaking of god one thing that i left out when i was talking about the main points um this is actually very shameful i just forgot for some reason anyway but i just want to let you know i actually pray for my channel you know i put it in god's hands i say oh god take control of this channel help me make the contents that needs to be seen help me make contents that fulfills me and take this channel to the places that you want it to go and i just put the channel in god's hands and honestly i would say god has god has been faithful i hope this video was helpful for you and i really do hope it added some sort of value to your journey as a youtuber if you are and to your day if you're not a youtuber <laughs> with youtube please 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 manage your expectations but put in the work so uh, i wish you all the best take care and god bless you find a community that you feel at home with and that also respects your boundaries in any way how you know whether or not they will respect your boundaries if you've, you're not yet in the community I think my earrings are too loud. I'm very sorry. I'll take those. I'll take them off. The next tip that I have for you for your journey to 4,000 subscribers and 1,000 watch hours. <laughs>